If you're thinking about getting divorced and you have some assets that you find out are considered community property, but you don't feel like you should have to share them with your spouse, is it a good idea to transfer those assets to a friend or a relative who will just hold them for you until after the divorce and then you can get them back? Or say if you have uh, some asset that you really love, your, you know, your car, for instance, and you know that your spouse is going to make a big deal and fight you for the car just because they know that you want it. So is it a good idea to sell that to somebody for a nominal price with an agreement that once the divorce is over with, you can buy it back? This is a strategy that people try to do all the time. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who practices family law in San Antonio, Texas, and around the state of Texas. And I have been helping people get through divorce for more than 35 years. And I can tell you that that is a really bad idea. In fact, it's considered fraud. If you do things to hide your assets, then what the judge can do is he can reverse those things. He can order your relative to deed those um, property back into the estate. He can order your relative to turn over that money that you've sent to that relative. Or he can, in his final judgment, say that those things that you set aside, those belong to you, but your spouse gets all the rest of the community property because you tried to hide those things. So in the end, it's going to come back to bite you. Those things will get found out. There's always a paper trail or somebody who will testify. And once those things get found out, it's going to make the judge mad and the judge can reverse that. And in the end, you will end up with less than half of the community property because you tried to hide things. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>